Samsung gets a lot of praise for the quality of the screens that they have on their phones and tablets. They've been manufacturing their own AMOLED panels for years. And each year it seems like they're able to optimize and improve it more and more than the year before. But Samsung also gets a lot of criticism because of the way they have the color balance set up on the devices. You've probably heard that a lot of people complain about how vibrant the colors are on a Samsung device. But thankfully there's a way to adjust that. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today on the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus with the feature that Samsung calls screen mode. So we're just going to tap on the settings application to launch it. Then you're going to scroll down a bit and tap on the display option. And then you should see a feature here called screen mode. Go ahead and tap on that. And we're going to have four different options to choose from as well as a color ba balance slider. We're just going to focus on the screen mode today. By default, it's going to be set to adaptive display. And this means that applications that run on the device can tell the Galaxy S8 that it's a photo application or a video application. And then Samsung will adjust and automatically optimize the color range, the saturation, the sharpness, and all of that stuff for the display. However, not all third-party applications will be compatible with this. So you may see some discrepancies between applications. You see here we also have an AMOLED cinema option. And you can actually see how the display goes from a more cool color balance, white balance, to a warmer one. This is also going to reduce the saturation a little bit. And this option is more for videos, whether it be YouTube or actually movies and TV shows. It's going to be optimized to make those look as best as possible. And then Samsung has an option called Photo, which again brings down the saturation a bit even more. The company wants this to be their professional photographer option, and it will be good for a lot of people, but it's not it's still not 100% accurate. So just be aware of that if you're editing content on the device. And then last is we have basic. And this tries to make the color balance as and color accuracy as good as possible. Now you're going to see a big drop in color vibrancy going from any of the other ones down to basic. But it's actually going to show it show those colors more accurately. So again, while Samsung has optimized their displays over the years, and a lot of people do praise those um, vibrant colors, I know I actually enjoy the colors to be more vibrant than more toned down. It's all a personal preference. And you should just go through here and set it up how you like colors and the color balance and the white balance to be displayed 